invent, it was made in 1954. So you can see it's very huge. Here's the, here's the little kit, and here's the robot, very huge. Now here's, I'm gonna, here's some examples of what we use robots for today. What do you think these orange robots are doing? That's right, they're making cars, right? Now, one thing which is interesting is, can you tell me something missing from this picture? Yes? Yes. Okay, apart from the car. <laughs> what is missing? Yeah. That's right. It's not people. So, this factory, when they're making cars, it's actually not people. It's all being made by robots. So, the car that you drive, maybe not, there was no human that made that car. It's almost all done by a robot. Now, does anyone know where this is? Mars, that's right. So this is also another example of robots are very useful because there's, there's never been any person that's gone to Mars yet. But we can send the robot to go to Mars and look at Mars for us. What do you think this robot is doing? Okay. It's helping people. So years ago there was a very big earthquake in Japan and you can have robots to go and you can rescue them because it might be too dangerous for people to go to that dangerous place. What do you think this robot is doing? It's a bit scary. Yes, very good, making people better. It's a surgical robot. You can do surgery on you for people who are not who are sick. Now, what is this? Do you think it's a real seal? It's a robot seal. So this is an example of what they're saying for robots are not just used for making things now, they're used in our homes. This is a companion robot, so the grandfather, he can hug the robot and feel very happy. And here's another example, here's the grandmother in Japan, and she's so happy to hug the robot. So we will love, we think that people will love robots in the future. You can, you can hug a model of this robot. And his little ones as well. You can pass around.